Hey friends! Since we are wrapping up the school year, I thought it would be fun to test our memories and see how many artists we can remember learning about. Here's the plan. I will tell you a little bit about an artist, I'll show you some pictures, and then I'll give you some time to guess. If you need more time, you can always pause the video. Then I'll tell you the answer. The first artist we learned about was from Austria. He was also an architect and an inventor. He didn't like straight lines and he loved nature so much that he planted trees inside his houses. He had a very long name that he made up for himself. Do you remember it? He called himself Friedensreich Regentag Dunkelbunt Hundertwasser. This artist makes art that is messy and colorful and filled with positive messages. He is from Pittsburgh and he used to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He gives his art away for free by leaving it in public places. Do you remember his name? He is Baron Batch. The next one is a little tricky because when we learned about earth art, we learned about four different artists. Earth art is art made from nature and art made in nature. Do you remember any of the artists we learned about? We learned about Andy Goldsworthy, Raku Inoy, Nancy Holt, and Robert Smithson. This artist is famous for her installation art, which is when you turn a whole room or space into art. She explores infinity, and she is known as the Princess of Polka Dots. What's her name? Yayoi Kusama! This artist moved to America from the Philippines, and then she traveled the world finding inspiration everywhere. Do you remember her name? Pasita Abad. This artist heard music when he looked at art, and saw art when he heard music. He said that every color sounded like a different musical instrument. What was his name? Vasily Kandinsky. We learned about a group of artists that all lived in the same town and created beautiful quilts. They used scraps of clothing and never wasted anything to make these masterpieces. They are the Quilters of G's Bend. We learned about an artist who was also a musician. He used collage to make art about his memories and about music. He lived in Pittsburgh for a little while when he was a kid. Do you remember his name? Romare Bearden. This artist uses collage to celebrate African American hair. Do you remember her name? She is Lorna Simpson. For most of her life, this artist wasn't given a chance to make art, but when she got her chance and discovered her own style, she made art that is now famous and is in museums all over the world. Her name was Judith Scott. This artist is known for his cubist paintings and for his line drawings. Some of them are made from just one continuous line. He is Pablo Picasso. This artist is known for her self-portraits. She painted 55 self-portraits and many of them feature her pets. She is Frida Kahlo. This artist uses super bright colors, pattern, and glitter to create art that is full of happiness. He is Romero Brito. We also learned about prehistoric art, weaving, and paper sculpture. Thanks so much for making art with me. I hope you have a great summer. 